So in this case, where you have a big side that you have to cover, you have uneven terrain, and you know that you're most likely going to lose line of sight, the best method to use is the Emlid and Chip Caster. You can register to get your Emlid and Chip Caster details on caster.emlid.com. These caster details you, you will use to set up your base, which is your, will be your mount point, and also your rover. This will allow you to roam a radius of 60 kilometers from your base. It is a requirement that you must have an active internet connection on site. Let's go ahead and turn our own MLID base into an N-SHIP station. Let's now configure our base. We will connect to our base via Wi-Fi. There are two methods, Wi-Fi method and the BLE method. In this case, we will use the Wi-Fi method. We will connect to our base. Once it's connected, in this case, it's already been connected, we can go to Reach V3. We can refresh on Reach V3 and connect to the base. Then we'll go into settings. The first thing we'll do is we will turn on mobile data. The internet connection that will allow us to transmit corrections via the internet will be through our mobile SIM card. We will now turn on mobile data. Turn on your mobile data. Allow for a couple of seconds for your mobile data to turn on. In a couple of seconds, you will see an indication that your receiver has an internet connection. Now on the screen, we have an indication that the receiver has internet connection. This internet connection is through a SIM card that we have placed in the SIM card slot of the base. The next setting will be the correction output. In correction output, make sure to select M-Trip. If you haven't created your profile yet, this is how you'll go about creating your profile. Input your caster details, then select on save. We have now completed the n chip base setup. Let's now set up our rover to receive corrections via n chip We will first connect to our rover via Wi-Fi. As soon as it's connected, we'll go to reach V3. Then refresh, then connect to the rover. Then select on settings. On the rover, we will also have to turn on mobile data. We will now turn on mobile data. Turn on your mobile data. Allow for a couple of seconds for the mobile data to turn on. In a few seconds, you will see an indication that your rover has an internet connection. The internet connection is through a SIM card that has been placed in the SIM card slot of the rover. We now have an internet connection. Let's now proceed to configure our rover to receive corrections via n -ship. Select on correction input, then select on n -ship. If you haven't configured your n -ship settings, select on the edit icon, then select on the plus icon, input your profile name, the address, the port, the username and the password. Then select your appropriate mount point. This will be from the details that you received when you signed up on Emlid Caster. Emlid Caster now has been selected and the rover is receiving corrections via n -ship. As you can see indicated there, receiving corrections. And on the top right, we have a fixed solution. We can now proceed with our survey.